Hello guys, my name is Stanley. Thank you for watching my channel. Today, we are going to do an unboxing video for this Mato tank. Let's see what's inside. One thing I like about the Mato, uh, about Mato tanks is that they come packed really, really well. Um, this is their standard box if you were to uh, buy from them uh, without the additional option of the aluminium case. This is, is the standard packaging. It's a very nice and sturdy um, cardboard packaging and inside has plenty of bubble wrap to make sure everything is secure and safe inside. So let me, let me start by removing all this. Oh. And here we have, <clears throat> here we have a Tiger One. So we're going to do an unboxing to show you what's inside. And also, part of the packaging also has a, a box of goodies that is included with your kit. Um, this is a, this is a kit form. Uh, sorry, not kit form. This basically comes without electronics. As we want to uh, build the tank with TK40 board, so it's not necessary to buy it on the. So inside the little kit comes with your um, ID card to show what serial serial number is your tank, and it comes with a whole bunch of goodies. Let's see what's inside this one. Oh, this is the muzzle brake. And the headlamps, <clears throat> muzzle brake and headlamps for tank. Oops. And I've got <clears throat> spare track links. I've got the mud flaps, and I've got the the cupola right here, all in this uh, box. Okay, so this customer ordered <clears throat> the tank painted in the base uh, yellow, dark yellow. It's not exactly the right shade, but you know, I'm sure you can adjust it later. So the barrel comes with the uh, the uh, nice protection sleeve, so you don't have to, so that the paint doesn't get scratched. Uh, as you can see over here, let me remove all this. Ah, oh, man, the paint's heavy. Ah. Just so you guys know, uh, the Mato uh, Tiger tank is fully, fully metal. Everything is metal. Even the tire is metal. The upper hull is metal. That's why it weighs quite a bit. I reckon it's about 7 or 8 kilos. That's about 15 pounds, give or take. Okay, so uh, gotta say, lot, lots of improvement over the uh, previous generation. They added a uh, second machine gun uh, detail over here and lots of uh, functioning uh, hatches such as this show you this one this is an actual functioning hatch <clears throat> where you can open and it locks uh, in place so you know you can access whatever is inside and of course these are the five uh, filter tubes the uh, Mato uh, quick release is over here you open this part you pull it twist it to the side so it uh, stays in open position and then you I usually hold the turret over here and pull it out and there you go so this is what it looks like inside it does not have the turret moto uh, machine gun lights are here servo elevation and the recoil motors are here and this is the second machine gun LED wires if I can see that good idea to uh, super glue these fellas down so you don't lose them they these come already with the uh, metal tracks uh, very high quality from Mato and also Mato's uh, exquisite 5 to 1 low ratio high torque gearbox with the uh, motors as well before I install any of the Mato gearboxes as you can see over here on each and every of the pinion gears is a set screw I would remove the set screw and apply the thread lock compound to it because you don't want the, uh, the set, uh, set screws to come off. There are also uh, two set screws on the on the drive shaft itself, as you can see over here. Okay, I would do uh, lock thread lock on these as well. And for some people, I like me, I like to uh, make sure these are soldered on, so <clears throat> I would solder these uh, joints as well. Otherwise, you don't really have to do much. It's ready to go and good idea to put some grease while you're at it 
and uh, from the looks of it the tracks are just about the right tension okay let me check yep this is good so I don't have to do any uh, any adjustments from the looks of it um, this tank will be fitted with a TK40 board a large custom speaker um, the 15 watt amp from a clock a bell system an IR bell unit as it, as it is it really comes with the cannon recoil uh, servo and the uh, elevation so it's not much to do just have to get everything sorted to uh, put the uh, the 8 pin daughter board on the top uh, turret motor some basic wiring for the for the LEDs oh and also wiring for the um, the front headlights which is mounted over here again uh, this is really really nice and heavy it's 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 solid it's about a good five or six kilos at least over here that's including all the weight from the tracks the wheels and if you guys don't know it's a, a torsion suspension um, torsion suspension chassis not the spring not the regular springs that you get on the hang long and this is die cast so it's very nice and rigid which is uh, really recommended for any of your tanks because if you want to go off-road and the, the, the chassis with the hull will flex a lot and this will minimize any flex or if, the, if there is any um, of course once you put a very large uh, speaker like so this is what's, what the speaker looks like and the size that will, it will fit in the uh, tank so it's, as you can see it takes up a lot of space because it's a very big speaker this is our double xl size speaker box with a 30 to 50 watt uh twice ton speaker and also, and also remember that the uh, amp does take up some space as well so this is the amp and i would usually mount it give or take around here give this would be the receiver i usually put the receiver on the sides uh and of course you could put your uh, board somewhere in the middle and or I could actually mount it sideways like so there's space for the battery this way it all depends on, on how I want to uh, manage it and of course I have friends who put the batteries on the side over here it's all up to you guys really it all depends on the, the clearance of your hull really because there are they're going there are going to be stuff that's sticking out so you got to do some planning before you uh, before you start uh, gluing everything down so just make sure that nothing gets in the way it's a very enjoyable build i like the quality that the mato gives this is really solid the, the tank quality is great uh, i have no problems with the tracks over the years uh, in fact the quality has been um, improving in leaps and bounds um, <clears throat> uh, again great to put grease and oil on on, on, on the selected uh, areas grease for the gears oil for bearings uh, if you guys are interested this is the lower hull to buy i would suggest it's better than let's say the, obviously better than hang long for sure and uh relatively speaking i prefer this over the the Tigan lower hulls because it's a far more rigid setup and it is a, a, a definitely a, a more heavy um, because when you go over um, terrain and stuff like that you do want to have weight so you can have traction pressing on the ground uh, so this tank does provide that uh, as you can see from the bottom over here, uh, the Mato plate is over here and it comes with real rubber on the tires. One you can see, real rubber. So it, it does give a very realistic uh, detail. To open the hub, you just spin this one off. 3mm uh, Allen key or hex key to open the sprocket and it comes right off. And of course, if you want to close it back, it's spin right back on. It comes with a lot of details, the hatches do open. As you can see, so you can put your figurines over there. Uh, of course, you can put your your loader figurine or your commander figurine, and all kinds of details that you can put in there. Okay, the previous generation of uh, Mato house, right? This is not a moving movable uh, driver's vision block. So this is this this is a recent addition by Mato. It's movable. So for you guys who love details, this was really really nice. The machine gun is also uh, movable recently. Uh, previously it was fixed. But uh, so if you guys, if you have a lot, if you, you know, if you want to be creative, you can put a micro servo there to move the uh, machine gun as you shoot it. So it doesn't give a very realistic uh, movement. So this for me is a great Tiger One kit. Um, if you for especially for RC tanks, very strong, solid, and reliable. I've built several of these, and I've been really happy 
with it. Uh, my advice is don't buy the kit in, in loose form. Buy it in this uh, form because everything's installed at the factory, so you know everything works. Whereas if you were to buy in kit form where everything's in bits and bobs, uh, you may need to use certain bolts and screws that they, they does not come with the kit, and you need to dig dig around for 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 stuff that that is not there. So it's a bit annoying because I I, I built a a kit for a client before, and he bought it off uh, off eBay, and and there were a lot of uh, bits and bobs that were were not included in the kit. So so it was a bit of, a bit of a challenge to get everything together. Uh, very frustrating. Luckily, I'm in touch with Mato, and they were very happy to send me all the bits and bobs uh, for free. So that's the that's the beauty of uh, buying with a trusted supplier versus buying online because they may not provide the uh, the excellent aftermarket sales service that we enjoy with Mato. So if you if you need anything, do f uh, feel free to ask from us. Uh, we can build tanks for you. We enjoy excellent customer service with Mato, and we pass that service to you. This is an excellent uh, product, excellent brand to work with. This tank is available for sale from our website. You can make an order from us. It's built to order, so it does take a few weeks to get it. Um, if you want to buy it just like that and we can ship it off to you, we, we can do right that. But if you need us to build the tank for you, there is a, a, a short waiting period of uh, several weeks at least. Check out the build log about this uh, tank uh, later on on, on, this, uh, on this channel. This concludes today's episode. On unboxing the Mato Tiger One uh, fully built kit but without electronics so I hope you enjoyed today's episode and I would like to give a shout out to Doug who has his own YouTube channel called the flat of workshop he's been really awesome he's been giving me lots of shout out so I would like to return his kind gesture and maybe we could do a video collaboration together uh, that's in the works actually it's just that I haven't got around to, to doing that yet so a uh, big shout out to, to Doug um, he's also building a Mato Tiger one, but he's got it in a kit form, so that's a lot of uh, challenges that's coming for him. I'm sure he understands that. You can check it out from his video, and uh, but he's using a a, a Tiger upper hull, so it's a bit of mix and match over there. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, today's video, and as always, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.